Let's talk about how tattoos came to be a taboo in Japan in the first place. These are some of the reasons why people with tattoos may be opposed to marriage by their Japanese partner's parents. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It has recently finally become easier to study in and travel to Japan. I see many more people from overseas walking the streets of Kyoto, and I'm so happy the city is starting to come back to life. But now, more and more people ask me, what would happen in Japan if I had tattoos? I'm sure the first thing that would come to mind is that you can't visit an onsen hot spring, but that's actually just one of the things. So today, I will introduce the disadvantages if you have tattoos in Japan. The later ones might be those you haven't heard of before, so please watch this video until the end. But I don't want anyone to be discouraged from coming to Japan by watching this video. So not only will I introduce the disadvantages, but I will also talk about the ways of how you can avoid or solve them. After watching this video, if you have any other questions about tattoos in Japan, please let me know in the comments. And before we start, I need to clarify that I don't have tattoos. So everything I will introduce today is based on personal research and stories my friends who have tattoos have told me. In my opinion, I think tattoos are art. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So let's go to Before we get into the main topic, let's talk about how tattoos came to be a taboo in Japan in the first place. As far as I have studied, there are these two main reasons. One, it was a punishment for criminals. Two, it was regarded as barbaric during westernization. During the Edo period, the last era when samurai existed, there was a punishment for tattooing the face of criminals. Some areas even had the kanji character for dog on their foreheads. Spending the rest of one's life with that on your head would be quite painful. Besides tattoos as such punishments, there were tattoos for other purposes in Japan. Firemen in hikyaku did not wear ordinary kimonos, but worked in very light clothing because they had to run around. However, in Japan, it was considered embarrassing to show your skin due to religious beliefs. So they had tattoos all over their body. Firefighters with tattoos were rather city heroes, as firefighting is a courageous job. However, these positive values towards tattoos in Japan dramatically changed during its westernization. When western people came to Japan, they thought these people with full body tattoos were barbaric. To promote rapid modernization, Japan forbade people from walking outside with their tattoos exposed. This led to the perception of tattoos, which had been an object of admiration, as something bad. But then why did the Yakuza, the Japanese mafia, start to have tattoos? With the ban on tattoos, the Yakuza began to tattoo themselves rather as a symbol of being anti-social people. Once you enter the Yakuza world, you can never leave again. Tattoos came to be used as a way to express that resolution. 1. Prohibited from visiting certain places Then finally, let's talk about the disadvantages of having tattoos in Japan. The first thing that will come to mind would probably be not being able to visit onsen hot springs. However, that is only one of the places you may be unable to go. You may also be unable to go to swimming pools, beaches, gyms, etc. You might think that if you're swimming outside, you can have tattoos. However, famous beaches have many other visitors, so they prohibit it not to scare them away. Then, if you have tattoos, do you have to give up going to these places? No, there are some possible options. Onsen, go to private onsens. Pools and beaches, use items to hide your tattoos. Gym, wear clothing that hides your tattoos. Private hot springs are not limited to those with tattoos, but may also allow LGBTQ couples to enter together. I don't have tattoos, but I always choose Ryokan with private onsen because I feel uncomfortable in public. 2. Being rejected from part-time work or employment This is quite a big problem for people who want to stay in Japan for a long period of time. People with tattoos may be denied employment because of the possibility of scaring off customers. You might be able to hide your tattoos during the interview and get the job. However, many people get fired after their companies discover it. I had a friend who lost his job when he accidentally met his boss on the streets on a holiday. However, having tattoos of course does not mean they have no job options. There are some options like the following. 1. Fashion and apparel. 2. Construction and civil engineering. 
3. Entertainment, eating, and drinking business. Strictly speaking, however, rules vary depending on the country and store. Please look for detailed information when actually applying for a job. But Shogo, what if I'm not interested in any of these industries? In that case, I recommend working as a freelancer or running a company of your own. I have discussed this in the video, why I'm leaving Japan. That one of the things I dislike about Japan is the hierarchical relationships and old company rules. Therefore, I recommend freelancing management, also because you can live without being exposed to that stress. 3. Difficult to date or marry a Japanese person. This may be the topic that is least discussed. Tattoos are becoming increasingly accepted as a fashion among young Japanese. However, the negative image still exists, and the parents and grandparents generation of young people who are about to get married can't accept it. These are some of the reasons why people with tattoos may be opposed to marriage by their Japanese partner's parents. 1. Concern about how society would think. 2. Limited amount of jobs. 3. Restricted activities with your children in the future. 4. May not be able to get life insurance. In addition to the two reasons I've introduced already, there's also a chance they may not be able to enter facilities where your kids would want to go and play, like the play areas, amusement parks, etc. Also, there's a chance you'll be rejected for life insurance. In Japan, insurance companies may reject people with tattoos, being suspicious they can have a relationship with gangs. But please do understand that this is just a possibility. Of course, there are many people with tattoos who got married to Japanese people. Ultimately, it's all about communication. Because dating and marriage have many other problems anyway, especially if it's international love. Lastly, today's conclusion. I talked about the disadvantages of having tattoos in Japan. 1. Prohibited from visiting certain places. Not only the onsen hot springs, but you may also not be able to go to pools, beaches, and gyms. 2. Being rejected for part-time work or employment. Companies believe you may scare customers away. 3. Difficult to date or marry a Japanese person. Because you may not go to certain places with your children in the future, get life insurance, etc., some parents may be against your marriage. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you to deepen your understanding towards how tattoos are seen in Japan, please hit the like button and please share your thoughts in the comments. And all of my other activities are in the description box, so please check that out too. And I'll see you in my next video. So I actually have a gym that I go to. Um, it's really close to my house. I go there once or twice a week. But um, when you sign up, of course, when you register, um, there was, uh, I think having tattoos was considered a taboo. And even if you try to hide it with something, um, I believe it was uh, on the contract it says you're not supposed to have tattoos at all. So if you like hide it the whole time when you do the first contracts and when you're going to the gym, if you can hide it throughout the whole time, maybe you'll be able to sneak through. But by rules, I can't recommend you doing that by the way, of course. Um, by rules, it is said that if you have any tattoos, you're not allowed to register a gym, so you can't use it. That's the rules at the gym, for example, I'm going to. So that's another thing that um, I haven't heard about so much of other people discussing. Onsens, I personally would feel is a lot easier to solve. Again, there's the private onsens, and there are of course on onsen hot springs where they allow people with tattoos. I know a couple of them in Kyoto too, where I live. Yeah, so that's um, not such a big problem compared to um, the other facilities like uh, like the amusement parks I was talking about or the places you can go with your children. And for jobs, um, I think it's getting more and a lot more easier for people people with tattoos to get jobs in Japan too. Um, like for example, um, part-time jobs especially, if you're like working at a, a convenience store like 7-Elevens or Family Marts and such, I've seen some people who have tattoos. Of course, you try to hide it as much as possible. They can only see a little bit of it, but it's not like they, don't, they can't get the job or anything. So I think it's, per, um, I think it's a lot easier. They're more flexible now in Japan. Yeah, especially because there's a lot more people um, from overseas who want to work in Japan. And lastly about um, the relationships I talked about, you know, um, dating someone or getting married and such. Again, that's t I just looked this up and I found the information about it, so I'm just sharing with you guys. Again, it's not about that you have to like completely give up any of these things that I talked about today. The only reason I made this video is because there's so many people that has been asking me like, is there some kind of you know negative effect? And I'm like, well, it really depends. It's really up to you. Like, of course, you know the job opportunities too. It's not just about tattoos. And there's a lot of other things that the companies will be looking out for when they you know of course hire a person. So it's not just tattoos, but if if I had to talk about something, if I had to talk about any 
negative sides of having tattoos, this would be the video, or this is what I would be talking about, basically. So relationships, too, is that at the end, I talked about, you know, international love is difficult anyways. It's, I totally understand that because my wife is Chinese, you know, how to mean is Chinese, right? I mean, she was born and brought up in Japan, but still, it was very, very tough for us, too, in the beginning, which, I, which we've made a video about in the past. So, I mean, having tattoos, maybe your, your parents-in-law, you know, your grandparents-in-law might, might be a little bit hesitant, hesitant. Um, should I say, not so comfortable, not so used to the culture, yeah. But um, eventually there's a lot of other things that you have to overcome too. And I know a lot of um, friends who are married to Japanese people um, and they haven't ever talked to their parents-in-law, the Japanese side, parents-in-law, um, because their parents haven't just never accepted um, the marriage or never said yes to it, yeah. So it really depends. But of course there are very, very um, happy families that get along uh, both both sides of the family is going back and forth to each other's companies, getting along, doesn't matter at all. It really depends on each person. So I really hope this video is just something that you can keep somewhere inside your mind and you don't have to think so seriously about it. Um, I just found these information, you know, on the internet, also for the stories from my friends I've been mentioning today, yeah. So just, yeah, I really hope this is something like you can just watch, you know, listen to while you're doing something in your day.